Hi, I'm JJ Snyder with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're celebrating with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Los Angeles at the Rising Stars Gala. Hi there, how are you? Well, I'm doing well, and I saw you, speaking of red carpets, I saw you, you've done a whole slew of photos already. Thank you, yes, it's fun. <laughs> this event is really fun. We look forward to it every year. Do you? You've been, you've been here annually. For almost 30 years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's tremendous. Yes, it is. Well, yes, I know it is. one thing we're celebrating tonight is uh, having a good influence on younger people. Yes. Well, the, we've discovered recently that 90, over 91% of our kids graduate high school on time. That is an amazing statistic that just speaks to what mentoring really does in a young person's life. Wow. And a, a lot of our, our um, Sherry Lansing and I, as an example, formed a, um, an endowment where we give scholarships to our graduating little sisters. And we discovered that these girls go on to become doctors and lawyers and they come back and want to be um, bigs themselves. They want to participate in the program once they've made it themselves. So it's a program that's just going to, the ripple effect just keeps on going. Now, have you been a mentor yourself? No, that's why I volunteer fundraise because my life, because I was working myself so much, I couldn't be sure that I could be here on a Saturday, any given Saturday, to be with my little. And they said, don't be a part of that, that little's disappointment. Be a part of the solution. So I said, all right, what else can I do? And they said, volunteer fundraise. So here I am. <laughs> hey, you know what? The money is a key part of this whole thing. Yes, it, it's, it supports the program. We have staffing that needs to be done. We have social workers that need to be paid. And although our bigs are all volunteers, it takes money to, to put the matches together, monitor the matches, and keep them strong and healthy. Do you know about how many matches you have this year? We have over 2,000, but there are many more that need to be done. So that's why we're so key on making this a successful event tonight. And for the younger people, how do they know how to apply with you? They can apply through school. They can apply online to the Big Brothers Big Sisters office. They can go... Uh, they can just call on the phone and ask to be included and in, uh, to be find them a mentor. Wow, it really yeah. is inspirational. It is. Okay, now from a fundraising point of view, uh -huh. let's say that you did have a little sister, and I'm going to pick a woman too. Okay. What kind of advice would you give to a young woman about finances? To get into a personal finance class as soon as possible, and something that is age appropriate, and but start early because in my opinion, credit cards are not the way to go. You know, credit cards just get you into trouble. I think this country's found that out. And also to listen to the money reports on radio, listen to them on television, read about money in the, in the newspaper, because no one really talks about that, I don't believe, in the schools. And I think it's really important for kids to know how money works. Absolutely. You know, you have to learn. You're not, it's not just something you can pick up. If you're, lucky, if you're lucky enough to have parents that teach you, great, but a lot of the parents don't know either, right. you know? Right. Yeah. Thank you for the advice. And now I'm inspired. Do you have any favorite um, money advisors, either, either on TV or radio, that you kind of get a kick out of? Dave Ramsey. Okay. I love Dave Ramsey. Yes. Great. And I love Bob Kiyosaki, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they all do wonderful, wonderful work. Yeah. Lovely to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Take Thanks. care.